All right, this is intranasal medication administration. First thing we want to do, of course, is check all of our equipment. Make sure we have the right medication that we're going to be given. We do have an appropriate syringe with a needle for drawing it up and then also a uh, mucosal atomizer device here. Have a sharps container by our side, got an alcohol swab, and then also some sterile gauze in case we need it. First thing, we'll take our medication, check our five rights, make sure it's the right patient. It's the right medication that we want to give them. It is the right dosage and concentration. It's the right time to be given it, and it is the right route, which is intranasally today. <clears throat> We're also going to check the medication and make sure that it is clear. I don't see any particulates floating around and that it is not expired. First thing we're going to do is take our syringe and needle out of the package. And this is a prepackaged syringe needle with uh, the atomizer device as well, all in one package. We've got the syringe and needle already attached there. We'll go ahead and take the top off of our medication and take our alcohol swab and clean that up. Go ahead and draw up. We're going to draw up half a milliliter of medication here. Insert in some air and then we'll dry out what we need. We'll draw that out. We'll go ahead and dispose of that sharp in an appropriate container. Go ahead and recheck our medication. We do have half a milliliter here and make sure it is still the right medicine that we need. Go ahead and attach our atomizer device. Of course we've got our PPE on through all this. And we're keeping that nice and clean. Keep the tip of our atomizer nice and clean there and then go ahead and screw that on. We'll go ahead and check our patient here and see which nair is larger and make sure there's no obstructions there and then we'll choose based on that as to which uh, nair we actually want to use. Double check that we do have all of our medication in there and it is uh, there's no air bubbles and the right dose there. We'll go ahead and insert it into the nostril whichever one's larger and has less obstructions and we can also uh, while we give the medication we'll instruct the patient to inhale and as they inhale we'll quickly push that in and go ahead and atomize that up into that nostril. We'll go ahead and remove that and dispose of that as we need to. If we need to go ahead and start uh, putting an oxygen mask back on the patient or if we need to do anything like that then we can go ahead and do it and then we're going to uh, observe the patient make sure that we are receiving the desired effects from that medication and there are no adverse effects for that.